one. Sinking, 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 and sinking. Hello, Internet, and welcome to episode number 41 of Podcast You're Equipped. I'm your host, Miguel Zarate, alongside John fucking Valencia. What's up, Internet? Whoa! <laughs> it's been... Two, Two weeks, weeks, John, a since limbo. we last did an, Yeah, we were in limbo a little bit. We took our... You know, around this time, the video game industry takes their days off normally anyways. Mm-hmm. A lot of people do it. They just record a lot of shit in advance. We didn't do that. <laughs> we just do it now. Yes. So anyways, here's that video we promised you, or the podcast we promised you about our game of the years. And we're also looking towards 2016, John. But we're already in 2016. But I mean, we're looking towards what's coming up in the months... That are coming soon, John. Soon. But Amplitude's already out. Amplitude is out. How do you like that so far? I like it, but I miss... I miss I the miss? actual license, the licensing song. I mean, start- they have some good songs. Well, there. see, you've sat down and only played it once. I don't think you've played it... A lot. Yeah, I played it again the night after. <laughs> like, you were working, and I played it again. I got tired of playing it earlier. But I had fun. I think some of the songs... Even one of the songs today got stuck in my head, and I was like, oh... Maybe I'm starting to warm up to this soundtrack. Maybe it just takes a while. I mean, I'm sure we didn't start off loving all those songs. You know, we didn't. Mm. But I'm sure we'll love them eventually. It's, you're right. I wish there was a little bit more. I wish there was variety in it because I feel like it's all house, uh, like, yeah, house electronic music. And it's like, where is the rock songs? Where is the rap songs? Where is the, there's like one jazz song. Where is the weird fucking David Bowie song? I don't know. <laughs> I like how you say weird as David Bowie when we had Logan 7 on there. That's, well, that's what I mean. I meant, like, where's the shit like that? I, you're right. I do miss that. I feel like it's too much electronic. I feel like they, there's room to have other songs. But that doesn't discount DLC, John. I'm sure there'll be some DLC. No, that's all dedicated to Rock Band. What uh, we got is what we got. I hope I hope we get some DLC. I mean, perfect game for DLC. Mm. Just like everything else. And they already, you're right. They already got music licenses for Rock Band. Why, why not throw Amplitude some bones? Mm-hmm. I don't want each song. I just want song packs. So I feel like buying song songs for that would be, be dumb. Yeah, be dumb. Anyways, if you didn't know, this podcast equipped every week. John and I come equipped with news and topics from and about the video game industry to discuss them for your viewing and or listening pleasure. You can find us every Thursday, but probably not this one. Probably be posted on Friday. Oh, uh, today Tomorrow. is Thursday. Tomorrow. <laughs> But normally, you'll find us every Thursday on YouTube.com slash Equipped Gaming. Or for all you audio files, SoundCloud.com slash Equipped Gaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just remembered what you said about audio files. Uh, <laughs> you didn't know what it was. Yeah. Until then, get around fun. Yep. It's an audio file, John. Anyways. John, so we're here. Yes. To discuss our favorite games of 2015. Now, I have a solid four. Oh. I, I, you could probably name three of them. I don't know if you can name the fourth one. But I have a solid four games Wait, can I name, oh, yeah, I that can are name probably three. in my running for my game of the year, quote, unquote, for all you people on SoundCloud.com slash Equip Gaming. <laughs> Got a cute... Every time you say slash, I'm, I'm like automatically thinking kind of funny for some reason. Stop! <laughs> I've, been th- I've been listening to this up too much. So, John... I don't know how you want to do this. We didn't really discuss this. We didn't really talk about it. No. Should we just go game by game and why we think they should be game of the year and then say what we chose? Hmm. Because I know some of our games may overlap, maybe. Or at least one of them does. I think one might overlap. All right. So give me give me one of your games that are in the running. And I hope you have made a choice already. <laughs> oh, yeah. My choice is already done. My choice is done. So we're doing top four, right? Yeah. Or okay. top whatever. I'm just saying, for me, personally, there's four that are like... Like, well above the rest, so I'm not even going to bother mentioning any other games. All right, we'll just do four then. Okay. So the bottom one for number four is Bloodborne. Well, see, I'm not going in order. I'm just going to throw them out there and then I'll announce. Oh, well, I already had them, like, set in my head. Okay. Go ahead. All right, Bloodborne. so four Bloodborne, although it has its difficulty hike. I feel like... But, yeah, I, I feel it. like you didn't spend much time with it. I mean... No, I, I went mean, back to play it again this like This week? No, not this, like, two weeks ago I went back to play it again. Mm. I forgot why I stopped playing it again. <laughs> Because you fucking <laughs> die a lot. That's no, too no much. see, what's, what's weird is that when I was playing it, like, constantly. <laughs> you were playing constantly? I was playing it constantly. I got to, like, this area where I was like, okay, I'm going to stop here because I know there's a boss level ahead. And that's when I stopped playing it. I went back and I was like, how the fuck did I get here without dying? 
Because I died like three times trying to get to that area again. But yeah, so in the new run is that what you're talking about? Yeah, in my new in the newest run where I did, I was like kept dying. Wait, did you continue your old save? Yeah, I continued okay. my old save because so I, I, I can't do that with games. Like I feel like when I stop a game and start a game, I feel like oh fuck, I don't remember what I was doing. I don't remember. Well, I mean, I guess Bloodborne's more of a game you can do it with. I was like, Bloodborne is like more. You I'm can thinking more of like an RPG or something. Oh no, RPG like, is like, like fucking, fucking like, forget. Fuck. Oh, I gotta restart. Damn it. So Bloodborne. Yeah, Bloodborne number four. All right. Has an amazing soundtrack, of course. All right. And visual graphics. Number four. Can you can you name my number four? Because I know you know my top three. So it's not one of the obvious ones that you know I'm gonna say. It's hmm. one that I just did and was like, it's amazing. You should play it. Oh, wait, it's Everyone Gone to the Rapture. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. That's right. It's a small little, quote, walking simulator, unquote. I had a good time with it. Told me a bunch of stories. And I told you, I played it in one night, one sitting. So it was nice. I've rarely done that. Have I ever beat? It's been a while since I beat one game in the sitting, probably since, like, the fucking Sega Genesis level shit. <laughs> like, that's the last time I beat a game in one sitting. But, uh, no, it just told me a lot of stories. It was fun. Um... I was very intrigued by it. The story, uh, the way it's set, set up is like it tells you six different stories from six different pers- well, same story, but from six different pers- perspectives. perspectives. And it's you just walk around and you just go discover these things. You don't even have to discover every part of the story. You can walk through the game and just ignore everything. But I liked finding all these bits and pieces, and, and they you have to put them together yourself because that's how they want you to do it. And so I don't know. I kept like. When I was playing it, I kept just telling myself, I should go to bed. No, I want to I want to beat this game. I want to see what it's about. And I played it one night. It was fucking fantastic. The soundtrack was amazing. The visuals were fucking amazing. <sighs> it's unfortunate, though, that the studio who did this with Sony, I guess they had a falling out. So I don't think we'll get another game from them. Damn. The Chinese Room, it was. Really good game. I enjoyed it. Very underrated. It kind of came out and nobody... Gave a shit, even though it got good reviews. But most people didn't play it because of what what it is. But fucking fantastic. I ex- highly suggest you go play it. It's like I started playing it. It's on my PS4. Go play it. I started playing it. And then I don't know what happened. Go play it. It's only five hours. I think you can do it. Oh, if Marathon. I'm, I'm a completionist. I'll probably find every little fucking thing. I'm pissed off. I just needed one more thing and I would have got the platinum. <laughs> but now, now I'm like, I'm not going to go back and find the one I didn't activate. Yeah, see, the only only problem I have is that when I was playing, I was like, fuck, it's so Slow. open. No, it's oh. so goddamn open. It I don't is. know where to fucking go. It, yeah, you kind of just go around. You just got to scalvage everywhere, and it's kind of annoying. But I really fucking enjoyed it. I was really enthralled when it came out. And I know what to expect from it. It was just interesting. It is interesting. The whole plot's interesting, I think. About the world ending, everybody's leaving. But you don't know why. But then you figure out why, and you're just like, fuck... Anyways, no spoilers. So, yeah, definitely one of my best favorite games, most memorable games of the year. All right. Now I'm giving Vita love. Thank you, Rumba? Nope. That's, yeah, well, no, that's number two. Okay. Um, number three, if I remember correctly, was Titan Souls. Mm. That really? Was, I really did have fun with that game. But, um, again, as a difficulty, I, but I love the soundtrack. I love how simple it was. One hit kill. One hit kill, but then you also got the that damn same thing. Except for the jelly one. Jelly one. There was, well, there was a couple ones where I feel like you had to hit them more than once to kill them. Oh, there were some. But I feel like for the most part, it was just reg- it was just gameplay. It was uh, Shadow of Colossus uh, kind of meets not 8-bit graphics, but uh, what are they 60? called? No. no. Damn it, I can't think of them, what they're called. Right now. Pixel art graphics. Mm. It was really fun. I see why you liked it. It was fun. I still would be in it, though. Like I said, Shadow of the Colossus, kind of. You just go around, walking around, kill these bosses. There's no other monsters in this overworld other than the bosses. And they just fucking, they're impossible to kill. Apparently, there's, like, people who can speedrun that game in, like, 15 minutes. Though. No, you, there's a trophy to beat it in five. Five minutes? I was like, what the fuck? If I remember correctly, the trophy was five minutes. Are you sure? I'm thinking it was, like, 15. No. I think that's what I'm talking about. No, I'm pretty sure it was five. All right. Let me see. There you go. Vita. Well, that's kind of Vita, PS4, other systems. Oh, yeah. I forgot it was on PS4. My number three. And this is where the obvious start coming in to play. Because 
man, these like I said, this was this year was the return of the triple A game for me. I had not been into triple A games in a while, but this year I fucking was. And Metal Gear Solid is the one that first brought me back, I guess. Well, I guess I bought Bloodborne too, but didn't really feel it. But uh, Metal Gear Solid Five gameplay, the story is kind of fucking all over the place. You don't know what the fuck's going on, kind of. Man, you don't. Frankly, you don't need to. Like, I appreciate that they try to tell me a good story, and I the bits and pieces that I got from it was fun. However, I think they relied on you have to listen to this diary to get the story. It's like, mm. you don't want to sit there just listening to a bunch of diaries that, that aren't even a part of the main mission, but they feel like they should have been. I feel like Konami, when they were forcing Kojima to finish this game, cut, them, cut out so much shit, and they just all got stuffed into these diaries. So his story is still there, but you got to kind of put it together yourself by just sitting here listening to a bunch of diary stories, which I didn't want to do, so I didn't. But the gameplay is where the king, it's maybe, some people may call it repetitive, but it was perfect. It was just like, go do a mission, fucking kidnap this person, make that person go join your team, make him repair something in your place, develop some weapons, and then next time go do it all over again. There's so many different ways you can do one mission. So the rep- the replayability is fantastic. The graphics are fantastic. The it soundtrack is. is fantastic. And like I said, the gameplay is just fucking amazing. And you'll be addicted. You could play it first person shooter. You could play it third person shooter. You could play it stealthy. You could run and gun. So you could play it however you want. And then there's the whole mother base thing. It's a whole nother game in itself. I'm trying to develop your mother base and trying to make sure you get all the weapons, which I was kind of shitty at, but I was getting better. But then I stopped playing because my next game came out. But yeah, I want to go back to this game. I need to go back to this game. And I think I'm getting the itch to play it again. Because I was having a great time when I was doing it. The missions are fun, and they're varied enough to uh, to make you want to go back and play them and keep going. Because after a while, there are some missions where at some point we're like, oh, I got to do another fucking go save this person mission, go save this person. But then they throw in this, hey, you kill all these trucks within five minutes in this small area, and you get a bonus or something. And it's like, okay, I'm going to go try and do that. <laughs> and it's hard. It's yeah, I seen hard. you try to do that. Yeah. Oops. Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Okay, so I'm going back to Titan Souls. It is 20 minutes. Okay, I knew it was not that short. I thought it was five minutes. Maybe it's a. Sl- it's know. still pretty short though. If yeah. somebody could beat that fucking game in 20 minutes, damn, is that a silver too? That is only a silver. Let me see. It is gold. Oh right. Only eight percent of people have it. Pretty good. Or point zero eight. Zero point eight. Point zero eight. Yeah, that game is fucking hard. I don't blame anybody. Anyways, my number wait, where two, are we? Two was Ultra Despair Girls. I had well, fun a playing lot of that. Vita games, John. You didn't play any console games this year. I did well, no, towards the end. <laughs> I don't think no, towards the end of the year I did. Anyways, so Ultra Despair Girls. Yes. What was good about it? What made it your second game of the year? Second game of the year was Storyline: Kids Killing Adults. I imagine that. Like, I can't see the uh, not uh, not not to be offended to anybody who liked Ultra Despair Girls. But I heard the gameplay was kind of shitty. Kind of was. I mean, they could have probably done a little bit better on the third person, but I managed. But these are personal favorites. These aren't like, okay, we're declaring them the best games of the year. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, these are the me, ours. personally, I, the, yeah, the, these are the best games of the year. But, yeah, Ultra Spare Girls. Yeah, I had fun playing it. I mean, it's like, yeah, you're, ha- you have your, you're somewhat hack and slash, which I kind of didn't use at all. I didn't really use unless I was, like, almost dead. And then you got your third person shooter. And that was pretty much it. Okay. Other than like the storyline, I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack yeah. was amazing. I think that's. A, I think we're seeing a point here. I think. All right. If that's your number two, then I think we both know have the same number. Of goddamn one. Know what number one is. And if the, if, the, if our freaking fan base doesn't know of twenty two people, doesn't know what the hell. Oh my god! You're fucking wearing it. <laughs> ah! For you on the fucking SoundCloud, Rocket League, Rocket League. Rocket League! I platinum it. Yay! Yay! No, but seriously, I think we can easily say I sunk at least. I don't even know how many hours I've sunk into that game so far. Let's go check. I'm sure it's above any other game I put in. Oh, I didn't say my number two. Oops. Oh, yeah, you didn't say number two. <laughs> oh, let me. Oh, well, the hype train's gone. Yeah, hi- it no, was Fallout 4. I got Fallout 4. I'll talk about that next. But Rocket League. 
easily. Like, replayability, fun, just everything you want in a video game in such a, I don't know. You can pick it up and go. You can pick it up and play for five fucking hours. I feel like we've done that a couple times. Yeah. Um, listen, it's just like the whole experience. Like, I kind of don't want to play that game without my friends, but I, I don't know. I get the itch to play. I've been itching to play last night. I wanted to play, but Aaron wasn't online. You were at work, and Alex was wasn't online. So I was like, fuck, I want to play Rocket League, but I kind of don't want to play without my friends because I don't want to play with other people. Because then they, we don't. We, I like. I care every time I freaking play on by myself. It's what's it called. I'm pretty much running the whole damn team. What are you winning? Uh, fifty percent of the time. I feel like that's always like this. This this just sheer amount of stunts you could do in that game. The different ways you can score in that game. Different ways you can block in that game. The emotions. The emotions, John. It evokes like the old feeling of Smash Bros. The old feeling of Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. Of all those like Nintendo games that we love, Mario Party just evokes all those old emotions for me when I play Rocket League. Damn. Plus, listening to our own music while we're doing it, it's just like... <laughs> it's fun. It makes it even ten times better. I don't know. Just... <sighs> and they keep coming out with map pack after map pack. Free DLC. Free up. Damn. We still didn't play air hockey. I know, I'm sad. Damn. I don't know. That game was just so good and it was so perfect. Kind of just sums up everything. Like this year, I didn't feel like I played too many. I didn't play too many story-driven games this year. I played a lot. <laughs> Other than, uh, yeah, everybody's gone to the Rapture. I feel like I played Fallout Four. Not really story-driven. You just go around open world, have fun. I've had, I'm having fun doing that. Rocket League. Fucking just pure gameplay stuff. No story at all. Yeah, that came out of rent. That Met- came out of nowhere. Metal Gear Solid Five, like I said, they tried to do story, but eh. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. And I didn't play Witcher, which I heard has a good story. Seems like too much for me. It's too um, much open world. Yeah, I don't know if I can jump into that right now. Like our last, or what is it, two episodes ago, I mean, open world game? Just look how bad I fell into Fallout. Ugh. But I feel like I'm not in the mood for... Fallout? No, for Witcher. Ah. I like swords and shit. I kind of just want to keep this guns thing going. Seems simple. I guess the FPS. But it's not really FPS. With bats. It is FPS. If you can play it as straight FPS if you want. Or somebody could play it as straight third person. I can't. Because I feel like the third person's not that good. <laughs> but yeah. Rocket. This is just getting me hyped for Doom. This is getting me hyped for Rocket League. More Rocket League. More Rocket League, please. In 2016. Like... That game just killed, and people love that game. People fucking love that game, John. That game blew up overnight, and rightfully so. It deserved every praise he got. I forgot. It cost $2 million to make the game. You know how much the company made? I'm like, double, like not even double, no. like 20 times. $200 million. $50 million. So good on you, Psionics. Good on you, Rocket League. And they're also tra- and they're also in development for Wii U and Xbox One already. Are they? Mm-hmm. Good. I hope everybody gets to play this game. Like, this is such a fantastic game. Plus, I appreciate the fact that we can play against PC players. Dude, that's awesome. Crossplay. Oh, God. Can you imagine if they try to integrate Xbox and No, nah, that's never going to happen. But this game deserves to be played by everybody. And it's just the game that I feel like casual players could get behind. And hardcore gamers like us can get behind. Because we're just like, <laughs> pick it up and go, whatever. Go have fun. Go get your ass kicked, maybe. But then you got players like us, where we're still we're kind of good, but then we still get our ass kicked on occasion. By <laughs> and then we fucking better players. And then we see a dog, goddamn freaking gold compilation. It's like, how the fuck do you do that? What the fuck do you do this? It's fun. I don't know. There's just nothing more I could say about this game other than it was amazing. It's been a good year, Rocket League. I want to play more. I'll probably play more after this. <laughs> we're gonna play more after this. Job. I have to get ready for work after this. Ah, right, you're right. I'll play more after this. I'll play more after this. Definitely. But anyways, John, now that we got 2015 out of the way, let's look toward 2016 and uh, games we are hyped for. Games we are hyped for. I already have my top Just in case. You don't. I said I already have my top. Well, Well, maybe top four. Well, just throw them out there. All right. So we got The Division. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, we talked about this. 
Several times with Alex. Yes. It's not set in stone. It's 2016. No, it is. It has a release date. Oh. I don't know where it went. But Are you sure it's not another delay, delay date? No, it's a actual release date. It's like uh, March, I want to say. I can't remember. It's March, I think. I want to say. Well, we'll see March. Mar- I remember <laughs> You got fifteen dollars cash. You got me a John Cena shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you like an ugly <laughs> <laughs> this is way too big. This is your shirt. It's a medium. That's a, not a fucking medium. The division. Sorry for the interruption. Um, that game. Remember, <laughs> that game was announced so long ago that my hype's been so high. <laughs> And I was so hopeful. Why is she still barking? Because of the foster. Damn it, John. Are we going to put this dog down or what? No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, but uh, I've been hyped for this game because it was announced so long ago. And we, it has promised so much. The online capabilities of being able to go visit New York or whatever in this, uh, post-apocal- yeah, this post-apocalyptic world with your friends and going to loot everything. And then obviously with the one that we saw, what, last year? Where it's like, yeah. oh, we go down this dungeon and all of a sudden, like, oh, I don't, I don't want to be on your team anymore. I like you said, pop, dungeon. Pop, pop, Whatever. It's dungeon. It's dungeon crawling, John. We're video gamers. <laughs> we know what it is. Whatever you want to call it. Exploring no, the ruins. No, the ruins. Exploring the ruins. It's open ruins. Anyways. Yeah. I like that. I like all that. And I'm hyped for it. But I'm just very like, mm, is it going to work? Is on, is it going to be one of those games where online... Where the online fucking is just down the first week because it, the servers can't handle all the people logging on. That's what I'm gonna think. Or is it they've delayed so much that they're just gonna push it out now? Like even if it's finished, correct or not, I don't know. I'm really worried about it. Really worried, but I I want to play. I want this game to be good. I want all of us to play it. I just want to troll. I don't want to troll. I just want to go out and play the actual game. And I hope as a single player mode. No, if we're playing as friends, I'm probably going to troll like a couple of times. No, but I mean, but that's only in a certain areas. You can't do that through. A whole I know game. you can't do it through the whole area thing. Anyways, and I hope there's a single player. No, I can play it by myself. No, it's going to be about. I don't. Friend. It's probably it, yeah. It's, it's going to be Titanfall. I believe it probably won't, but I hope there's a single player. Most likely, I'll Most play likely. that game by myself. So that's the vision for my excitement. I don't know if you're still hyped about it or how you feel about it. I'm still hyped. I s- you should know that I play a shit ton of like the sp- dystopian games. Well, I feel like everybody does. Like, I feel like that's the most of the games that are put out these days are dystopian. Dystopian in some sense of the word. <sighs> Uncharted four th- number uno for me. A thief's end. I'm spending a hundred and fifty dollars for that fucking game. Are you really? Yes. Mm. The last Uncharted game. It. It's the last Uncharted game. At least I don't, the last I don't of know Nate. if I believe it's the last of Nate. They haven't come out and said it's the last Uncharted game. No, it's the last They've of Nate and Drake. And, yeah, they're saying it's Nate's last. The, the last, the last story of Nate and Drake, which tells me there's something coming. I believe. I don't think it'll be Naughty Dog doing it. Of course, I think another Sony first party studio, or maybe even a second party studio, will make another Uncharted game. And I hope it's that solely prequel that I've been asking for. The solely prequel. Yeah, solely in like fucking 1960 or 70. We're looking, working for what's her name? Yeah, and what's his story? How did what how did he become a master thief like Nate? I don't know. I want that story told. It looks like it'd be fun. Naughty Dog or whoever does it can do a good job with that. There's already established characters. Plus, solely deserves his own game. He does, even though Uncharted Three was pretty much his own game. I feel like he was like Meh. the main story. He was like. He, definitely, he came up to be the second character. Yeah, like definitely, like right there. Even he was always there, but like that was mm-hmm. where you like really got it. That's where you got all the love. But yeah, I'm really excited for this game. Sad it got delayed one more month. I know. <sighs> Sad day, April. Four Here's- months, practically five months, because it's like April 27. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like five months. What, what will I play in between then? There's I'll- lots of games coming out in between. Oh well, I guess I could play Tomb Raider. Like, if Alex were here right now, Street Fighter Five. Oh, I said I was going to buy that, but... I don't know if I'm buying I don't know. That. I'm not. Like, I'm just getting... I'm just throwing games out there that people are hyped for. People are hyped for these games. But not me personally, maybe, but Street Fighter Five. A lot of people, like, are excited about this game. I don't get... I don't get the appeal. I don't think... 
I mean, I do because I do like some fighting games, but Street Fighter, the main series, I don't know, has never been one of them. I rather like the spin off series, like the Versus series. Yeah, they're not doing any more Versus. I know. It's bullshit. I want the Versus series. Back. Unless we get Capcom versus Kellogg's. <laughs> I don't care what we get. I just want a versus game again. Those games are always fun. They had different... You didn't like Tatsunoko. No, I did. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. I didn't like playing on the pads. I didn't like those pads for fighting games. Well, you could play on the Wiimote. With you, the Wiimote. Yeah, you want me to play on a Wiimote? Yes, I played on the Wiimote. Okay, That's Galaxy awful. Us. That's awful. Playing a fucking fighting game on the Wiimote. Yes. No. Yes. That just sounds bad. Sounds desperate. But yeah, that's one of the games. Plus, I think it's going to be big for Sony that they got it ex- exclusive. Uh, no. Console, Partnered. Console, whatever, exclusive. Console exclusive. The Xbox fans can't get it anywhere else. I mean, they can get it on PC, but. That's about it. I feel like if you have an Xbox One, you're probably a console person, anyways, not a PC person. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Go play Street Fighter V, all you people who are excited. I'm also excited for Mirror's Edge. Yep, Catalyst, as they're calling it, John. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be excited for this game. I mean, you can jump into this just because it's a damn reboot. I'm Honestly, I think this game's going to be delayed. Again? Yeah. No. Have we seen gameplay for it? No. Wait. I yes, know we saw no. some, but have we seen like hardcore gameplay for it has not been shown. Marketing has not been there. I feel like they're behind the eight ball on this one. This one's going to get delayed, John. It better not. Not the 2016. I don't think the 2017, but I think fall. Although if it falls to fall 20, if it goes to fall 2016, this game's gonna get killed mm-hmm. by everything else. So I hope it doesn't go there. I hope they hit their release date. And I don't know if I'm that hyped for this game because it's just you never played the first one. But still, it's I feel like these aren't my style of games. Neither did I think it was. So I played it. I feel like I'm gonna get sick. Yeah, you especially. You're gonna get sick. Yeah, I'm gonna get sick playing this game. So that's a no. Freaking Alex, when I when I had to help him with the cover trophy, he was like, you need to use this, this, this. And he's like, what the fuck? The yeah. camera's just like all over the place. Yeah, I don't want that. It's not what I want. God damn, I shouldn't have dropped platinum. <laughs> Should have been drinking a course. It's the only platinum you can get. Oh, shit. John throwing out those burns. I have one platinum. Through story progression only. It's good. It's good stuff. Though. It's a good game. No man, the sky. I'm not looking for it. No, <laughs> that's so much exploration. It is. I don't know. I'm I'm afraid of this game. I want to like this game. I feel like I don't know. I feel like it could be fun, but I want to see exactly how it's executed. Mm. If it's executed right, I I can see myself falling in love with this game. If it's just not done right, or if I'm not in the right mindset at the time. I don't know. I, this game, though, people are like fucking losing their shit over this game. So, what do you think? I don't know. It's like I'm just afraid of how long I'm spent trying to find stuff. I feel like finding stuff's not going to be the problem. I feel like how long is it going to take you? I want to wanna learn how to because they're saying it's going to be this whole like trading thing too on the side, which is excites me because I love strategy games and that's like a thing of strategy games, like old school strategy games. Like, oh, go. <clears throat> Go bring this society up or something. I want to see how that works. How does the economy work? Is there going to be like real world app? Like, you know how, uh, wow, there's like real world, those dollar values go up based on real mm. world stuff. And I'm, I find that shit interesting. And I, is that how it's going to work in No Man's Sky? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. How many, how many planets are going to get destroyed by people like... <laughs> are people going to destroy planets? Like, can you, know you how do that? Can you blow up the Death Star in this game? No, Is there gonna that's be not what Death I mean. Star? But like, freaking just get every... Like, rip out the plants, kill the animals. Oh, yeah, I see. You can do that. Remember those, those things that defend... Then that's another thing. I want to see how the first person shooting goes. It didn't look that good when we saw it, but... Could have improved it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not judging... Reportedly, we're getting Final Fantasy 15 this year. He's promised this year that it's they're trying to get this out this year. Finally, finally, finally. After like what fucking forever? It came years? out our junior like 2009, 2008, no, 2006. Fuck! I found out in 2000. Final Fantasy Versus 13. I know it was Versus 13 because Shane was like, I can't wait to play this game. <laughs> She's still waiting. <laughs> No, I don't know. This is, for me, this is it. This is whether I 
I give up on my the series that I grew up with. This this game decides whether I give up on it. And it looks good so far. But it's not obviously it's a different Final Fantasy game. It's more action y. Mm-hmm. But whatever. Games changes. But I want to see if they can still draw me in with the story, with their characters. They said they're going to try it because they got a lot of inspiration from The Last of Us. Yeah, that's good. But that's what I mean. I want them to draw me in like all the other... All the Final Fantasies have been character-driven, story-driven. Mm-hmm. The mechanics have always been an afterthought. It looks like with this one, there the mechanics are forefront. And the, reportedly, the story is going to try to draw us in. But nobody wanted fucking the Lightning Trilogy. Nobody wanted that shit. 12, well, was not poorly received, was also not fucking fantastic, amazing, like we had thought, 10, 9, 8, 7, Did they try to go six, off after, tactics, like, five. 11? Yeah. Well, 11 was just... <laughs> the online, the but fuck, isn't that what they tried to do, though? MMO, I don't know what the fuck that was. And obviously, it worked for them, because 11 was around for the longest time, and it's still around right now, and 14, uh, Realm Reborn, is killing it, even though it, when it, 14 launched originally, it... it didn't do so well. Yeah. But now it is. So they found the right formula for their MMO. But I'm saying for the mainline story ones, I want I want the stories to be good again. I want to feel the, for those characters. I want to be connected with them. And then apparently this uh, fighting system will change how I play games. So I want to see how that goes. Whether I love Final Fantasy or not comes down to this. Will it come out this year? I'm not holding my breath. No, they're, saying they're, they're saying they're getting it out this year, but I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. You know, but you don't know. But you know what Final Fantasy game I'm hyped for that's guaranteed to come out this year? World of Final Fantasy? Seven. Remake. <laughs> Hold your breath again. What? It's not we, already, we already got guaranteed that's episodic. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's coming out this year. Could be. Even if it's episodic, it's definitely not coming out till at least holiday 2017. Damn. I can guarantee you that. But we were, that will be we, a we, lock. We had gameplay. Hashtag. We had voice acting. Hashtag stealing this hashtag. Oh. And that hashtag. Hashtag Miguel was right. <laughs> hashtag stealing hashtags. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What other game did I see? Oh, yeah. So next month, Yarny. Yarny <laughs> comes out next I'll month. I'll play that. If a little it's bit free planet, for PS Plus. It might be. I need to buy PS Plus. Um, wait, you have like three months extended. I know. Oh, did I say I need to buy PS Plus? I meant yes. I need to... I forgot what I was going to say. It's <laughs> not what I meant to say. Isn't Doom coming out this year too? Doom is coming out this year. Yes. FPS Madness. A single player FPS. I still need to play Wolfenstein. Still want to play Wolfenstein. I touched it briefly. Scalebound got re- delayed. Which? Oh yeah, that one I already knew about. I wasn't too... like in. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It looked fun. I have an Xbox One. I need a reason to play games for it. And I think this one will be it. Which one? Gears of War 4. It's not Gears of War. It's just Gears. It's Gears 4. Why does it say Gears of War 4? I don't know. At E3, it said Gears 4. All right. Gears 4. Sorry, John. I'm, I want to play that game. That, that'll be a reason to buy a game for my Xbox One. And Cuphead. Oh, fuck, Cuphead. I forgot about we Cuphead. We gotta play Cuphead. That um, classic... I don't know, do you want to play Gears 4? Did, I know we all enjoyed, like, the gameplay for Gears were always fun. Mm-hmm. Do you want to play Gears 4? Yeah, probably. <laughs> don't be so hyped, Sean. I mean, yes. Don't sound oh so my God. Static. No, but Cuphead. What about Cuphead? Cuphead, yes. We gotta fucking... That looks beautiful. That looks fun. It's gonna be the next Shovel Knight in the sense that this game's gonna come up from being an indie game. Fucking blow up to the masses. Uh, no, it's going to be the next Shovel Knight in the sense that hype, 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 boom, explosion. Because it's so good. Hopefully. Gameplay looks good. Gameplay looks solid. Looks classic platformer. Uh, but yeah. So that's one of the reasons I want to start a game on my Xbox One. I haven't got a single game from my Xbox One, by the way. Oh, no. Sorry to throw that out there, people. Who may think we're fanboys. But... You know, give me a reason, and I will. And that is a reason. There was also... Oh, never mind. You don't even care for that franchise. What? That was like the Tomb Raider. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I like them, but it's not something I want to go out of my way to go purchase right now in my life. I have plenty of games in my life. 
like I'm not, no, I'm not missing like a couple of games. Dead, uh, Dead Island Two. Yeah. It, I don't know if this is Techland or not. The same people who did uh, that was Deep Silver. I thought. No, Deep Silver published. Oh, yeah. Techland made the games. I think they are working on this. I want to say they are. This better, game's been delayed so long, I don't know what to even think about it anymore. I don't know. I feel I like it gets cancelled. I feel like it might get cancelled this year. Maybe. I hope it's better than the first one. Everybody hopes that. Everybody hopes that, John. How about Horizon? Oh, Zero Dawn. God damn it, I forgot about Horizon. You how do you forget? Fucking I robot dinosaurs. Easy. There's Nazi robot dinosaurs. No. No, seriously. This game looks fucking... It looks nice. Finally! I feel like Gorilla's finally going to get something good. No offense to the Killzone franchise, but... It was always... It was always... When it first came out, it was supposed to be the Halo killer. It wasn't. It wasn't. Then it kept going for some reason. It kept going and kept going and kept going. And like... No offense to that series, but who is playing the Killzone franchise? You did for like two seconds? Yeah, no. I was, did for like a campaign. It was just not good. It was, I mean, not, it wasn't, it was solid. Gameplay was solid. Then that's the thing. They created this world, but the story was just not there. It was always behind Halo. It was always looked at as, oh, it's copying Halo. So nobody wanted a cliche story, and now the guys who made who have solid gameplay know how to fucking make games for the PS4 because they were the first one to do it. Are making a new franchise that has interesting lore. Looks like it's gonna be open world, which everybody loves right now. Just give up on it, John. We're 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 audio right now. Everybody has this lore that everybody loves. That everybody's gonna like is everybody's interested. It's interesting, you know what I mean? It's like how did we go to prehistoric times? But they're dinosaurs. Why? I don't and I'm gonna have fun time learning why. But until then, this is not this is not guaranteed to be a twenty sixteen game. I can see you getting delayed to early twenty seventeen like Uncharted did last year. I hope oh, that's yeah. not the case, but I think it's I think they'll hit their mark. Gorilla is pretty good about making their games and not delaying them. Hmm. Quantum Break. That got I delayed. About... I think that got delayed. I thought, no. I thought that had, no, it had to release window. Never yeah. mind. All right. What other games are there? The Last Guardian. I forgot about Last Guardian. How do I forget about something? You forget. It's because they announce them and then they life don't. goes on. <gasps> How did I forget? Persona 5. <gasps> Snaps. How'd you forget Persona 5? I don't know. This game, this game has a lot of, uh, has a lot of, uh, pressure on itself, I feel like. Persona series has been getting, like, bigger, 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 and finally it's like, this is the game where everybody's watching it. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna either flop, and people are gonna, or people are gonna hate it, or people are gonna, and then they're gonna compare it to Persona 4 Golden, because I feel like that's where most, the most people have jumped onto the series, yeah. including myself. I yeah, played. I started, well, that I started one. playing three too now. So three, I don't know where. I know I beat the first area, like the first, and the very first boss. When I hear the arguments, it's always no. Three was better. Four was shit, and and then I, four is no. Four is the best because it has all this. It has the third what the third one had, but also more like the dating features. People mm -hmm. really like that shit. The dating sim features. I like that personally. I like the whole dating sim, live your life, and then go dungeon crawl. It kind of adds more to the game. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, this game has so much like people are watching it, and it's like it's either gonna people are gonna love it and praise it, and finally the Persona series will get its great due and one of the greatest RPG franchises of all time, or it's gonna flop. And uh, yeah, I, that could be the end of a uh, hardcore RPG game in the West. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know why that song getting I'm a little. I was doing like the whole when you do the fatality, like dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. fight. I restarted the fight. Oh, why'd you restart it? I'm a little buzzed here. <laughs> Anyways, those are the games we are hyped for. Rocket League, best game of 2015, easily. 
<laughs> you were going to say 60 for like two seconds. Maybe. This has been Podcast Equipped. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Meg underscore AZ. Follow John on Twitter at Tagless02. Zero. Zero two. Now we can get it right after the third week. Well, because something is tagless. Because when we started this podcast, you would always say O2. And then I would correct you and be like, isn't that a zero? So now, I'm the one that created it. But you would get it wrong, though. When we first started, go watch the early episodes. And you would always, and I would always let you say it. That's why I stopped letting you say it, because you'd always say it wrong. And some poor schmuck would get tweets. Good. Maybe he wants love. Follow uh, <laughs> follow the whole show and the whole gaming channel at Podcast Equipped. No, Equipped Gaming. <laughs> at Equipped Gaming, right? Yes, it's at Equipped Gaming. Uh, every Thursday on YouTube.com slash Equipped Gaming, we'll come to you with news and more topics with this Podcast Equipped. I don't know if we're going to jump back on our Let's Plays. It's in it's in beta still. It's in beta. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll do I, it live. We'll do <laughs> definitely. I think uh, we can do amplitude. I hope we can do play, amplitude as a let's play. As long as as long as we do the harmonic stuff, it allows streaming. Yeah. Oh okay. So I don't think they'd allow streaming unless we might get flagged though on YouTube. That's what I was thinking. Well, but we'll stream it. I feel no. I feel like if we do harmonic songs, we'll be safe. I don't think the harmonics going to flag people. Okay. Because I already see Let's Plays on YouTube. For Amplitude. Hmm. Okay, then. So I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm almost certain like there's some weird thing Amplitude knows. Like, oh, we're not going to flag your songs. Oh, okay. Because they own the songs this time around. They licensed it. It's not like if I played a song from the first Amplitude. Oh, we don't own it. We're sorry. Yeah, we can't protect you there. Anyways, this has been Podcast Equipped. Have a great week. Enjoy... What am I doing? Enjoy the rest of the week. <laughs> Goodbye, Internet. Woo! <laughs>